This presentation demonstrates the self-sustaining capability of this energy solution. The electrolyzer is livened up and then the input power is connected to the output of a PEM fuel cell. The fuel cell is fueled only by the pure hydrogen produced from the water electrolyzer. A self-sustaining energy closed circuit is achieved. Electricity from the fuel cell excites the galvanic enhanced electrolyzer, which produced hydrogen to fuel the fuel cell to convert the gas back to electricity. Floodlights totaling 40 watts draws from the self-sustaining energy by connection directly to the output of the fuel cell. Video is recorded with time-stamped 8-camera CCTV to eliminate trick photography. This is a quick preview of the 7-hour run period. The complete footage is available for viewers to analyze and examine connections, equipment, and surrounding area. Various tests are performed to satisfy electrical engineers. At the conclusion of the presentation, the technician disconnects the circuit, resulting in a pressure drop, simply to confirm that the electrolyzer is powered only by the fuel cell. Stage 2 of the performance verification testing enables scalability calculations. A galvanic enhanced electrolyzer twice the size was connected to the fuel cell. Doubling the size increased the performance by an extra 150% and the production capacity by a scale factor of almost 3. Published video was taken with time-stamped 8-camera CCTV. Over the hours of runtime, the viewer is taken through the connections. The same self-sustaining energy closed circuit is achieved. Various tests are carried out to validate the demonstration. The double size unit is capable of powering 120 watts of floodlighting. Third party inspection and statements are obtained but of greater value is the detailed footage for all to analyze. Stage 3 consisted of power measurement and calculations validating the efficiency and scalability. The double size cell ran up to 600% efficiency with an average of 550%. The fuel cell 40% inefficiency must be calculated into the power readings. Input 40 volts at 1.8 amps. Output 42 volts at 3.2 amps. Factor in the 60% power loss through the fuel cell and we are able to calculate the efficiency of the electrolyzer. 360 watts output for 72 watts input power. The scalability calculations provide a benchmark factor for estimated upscale capacity. Because most of the energy is delivered by internal galvanic metals, a larger surface area would naturally increase the scale factor and efficiency. A unit scaled up to 24 cubic meters with a footprint of just six large solar panels would generate 944 kilowatt hours of energy or 28 kilograms per hour of hydrogen consuming just under 5% of the output energy to self-power. The oxygen ion transfers a natural, free energy source into electrical energy, enabling a coefficient much greater than 100%. No laws of thermodynamics are being violated, but rather supported. Within all electrolysis cells, the anode electrode is eventually consumed. Therefore, one may conclude that within a galvanic arrangement, the less noble metal would be consumed quicker. This is not the case in this application. H2IL discovered a technique of forcing the electrolyte to become an ionic substance with a more positive potential and therefore effectively becoming the anode. The two electrodes of the cell become the cathode and therefore do not consume. The controlling system governs this electrochemical process to ensure that the electrolyte remains more anodic than the electrodes. 
please view the complete test footage and reports located on the verification page of the H2IL website.